Hello everyone, I am Alexa Dunn and today I am going to be talking about online mentoring and agent contests. I think you all probably know the big one that I'm going to be talking about. Spoiler, it's Pitch Wars. But there are many others and I have lots of thoughts and opinions and knowledge about this subject that I thought might be useful. So if you've watched my agent story video, you'll know that I have been on the contest circuit. Back in 2013, I did Pitch Madness, The Writer's Voice, and also Miss Snark's First Victim Secret Agent Contest. I didn't even mention that one in my video. Um, it wasn't quite as relevant for reasons, but I did essentially three. The timing worked out that I did Pitch Madness instead of Pitch Wars, so that's why I was never in Pitch Wars. But I have a lot of friends who have done it as mentees and as mentors. I know people who got book deals from Pitch Wars and people who didn't. I also run my own mentoring program, which is called Author Mentor Match. I love author mentoring. I think that it works. Working on a manuscript with an up and coming author is a great way to give back to the community. And I love watching contests. So I watch Pitch Wars every single year. I love the contest aspect of it and I think everyone else does too. I'm focusing primarily on contests that do have a mentorship component and or take place on a blog as pitch contests like Twitter pitch contests are kind of a whole other can of worms and worth talking about in a separate video. And let's just be real, we all want to talk about pitch wars. It is the hottest thing happening right now and every aspiring writer I know is going to be entering in a few weeks. And uh, by the time this posts, I think the entry will be in a week or less. I'd like to start with a very important disclaimer right up front. Pitch wars and contests like it are fantastic opportunities for aspiring and querying writers, but they are not the end all be all. If you don't get selected for pitch wars or query combat or any of the other programs, you're going to be okay. More writers with agents and book deals have gotten those agents the traditional way than through pitch contests. There are some amazing success stories that have come out of pitch wars, and those are the ones that you hear about a lot. But the majority of participants don't land superstar agents and get six figure book deals. Those success stories are fabulous outliers. So my number one piece of advice is to temper your expectations. Enter and be hopeful and excited, but if you don't get in, you're going to be okay. And if you do get in and you don't have an overnight success story, you're also going to be okay. There are so many other things that you can take away from the Pitch Wars experience that have incredible value. Here's the thing, Pitch Wars and contests like it just aren't for everyone. Sometimes the timing just isn't right. You have a manuscript, but it isn't ready. You can't effectively revise it in the period of time available in the contest before the agent round. Not every book can be effectively revised in two months flat before agents see it. Or in the case of something like Query Combat or Pitch Madness, maybe your first page or your query is ready, but the whole book isn't. You should always consider contests on the assumption of the best case scenario, which is you're going to be chosen, agents are going to want to read your book, and you're going to have to send them your full manuscript. So is that full manuscript the manuscript you want your dream agent reading when considering representation. If the answer is no or I don't know, you might not be ready. Of course, the point of Pitch Wars is to polish and work on the manuscript and unlike some of the other contests, it does have a little bit more time. Two months is not as much time as you think it is, especially when those months are September and October. If you are a teacher or you have children or just if that's a busy season at work, you might not have as much time to revise as you think, especially if your book is going to require a whole book revision or significant rewrites. Always think about the state that your book is in and how confident you feel about the timeline. You don't have to enter. There's always next year or another opportunity or just querying when you're ready. I've also seen a lot of people who hyper focus on the agent round of pitch wars. 
and they forget that Pitch Wars is a mentorship program. Don't just enter Pitch Wars because you want to be in that showcase. The showcase is amazing and it can do fantastic things for you, but I see it as a bit of a slap in the face to the mentors and not fair to the Pitch Wars program or other individuals who genuinely want to participate in the whole thing to enter your book just for the showcase and then get a mentor and ignore your mentor. The point of Pitch Wars is to establish a connection with a mentor, work on your manuscript together, and then enter the showcase. Not get picked by a mentor, ignore them, and then show about in the showcase. So those are my disclaimers, but let's talk about the positive. Pitch Wars is a great opportunity. You definitely want to apply. Your manuscript is more or less ready and you are ready to work in those months before the showcase. How do you pick the right mentor for you? This is nebulous. It's kind of like choosing an agent. It's all about the right fit, but how do you know what the right fit is? The answer is you can just do due diligence and you know do the best that you can. Think about what you write and what you want for your career and look through the mentors and look for mentors who match your style, but also your expectations for yourself. Look for the mentors who are where you hope to be in a year or two or more. Look at what the mentors are looking to get out of Pitch Wars. Some mentors are very upfront that they are hoping to find a book that needs a lot of work where they can just unlock what's not working and do a ton of work with the author on the book. If you're scared by that or don't want to do a ton of revision, don't apply to those mentors. You're just gonna end up disappointing them when they have all sorts of brilliant ideas for changes and you're not open to any of them. That said, don't forget what I said before. Don't apply to Pitch Wars and you don't wanna change anything about your book, but there are degrees in terms of editorial style. Some people want to do a lot more intensive work than others. Check out the mentors on Twitter or if they filmed a video wish list, watch it. Get a sense of personality, like who would you wanna like go get coffee with and chat with? Those can make the best mentor matches, someone that you would actually want to be friends with, but who also can help you do good work on your book. Another thing that I urge writers to consider before entering a contest like Pitch Wars is to think about your querying an agent strategy. You should have this in mind whether you do Pitch Wars or not. Who are the agents on your list and do they participate? If they do, great. But do you have agents who don't even do pitch contests? How does that impact your ability to query them? But odds are you're going to have plenty of agents on your list who do not participate. Before you decide to participate, think about how your participation is going to impact your querying strategy. You are not allowed to actively query your book while you are in Pitch Wars. Once your entry goes up in the showcase, you can query. But let's say you do have a best case scenario and you get a bunch of full requests and the agents read your book really fast and you get an offer. Is it going to bother you that you might not have been able to query some of those agents on your list? Will you be haunted by the what ifs? The answer for a lot of you is going to be no, and that is great. But always consider that it might not be the agent from Pitch Wars that you really wanna get an offer from. My cat decided to join us. The offer might come from an agent who isn't on your top tier list of agents. So think about whether by doing Pitch Wars, you are forgoing your opportunity to get your book in front of certain agents. There are strategic ways to do both, to do Pitch Wars and to query your dream agents before you might get an offer, but it requires great timing and supreme confidence in your manuscript. If you blow all of your querying around the time of the showcase, what if there's something wrong with your manuscript? You have now wasted your shot on that entire book. I'm sorry to be such a downer, but these are things about online pitch contests that people don't always think about. Pitch Wars just happens to be the biggest, but you should ask yourself the same questions about things like query combat or pitch badness. Once you put your book out into the world publicly in front of agents, you are visible. The main thing that I hope to get across with this video is that online contests are a fantastic opportunity, but they're not the end all be all. After you've considered if you're ready to enter, if you do participate and get in, just temper your expectations. 
I've seen a lot of people be really disappointed that they didn't do as well in Pitch Wars as they had hoped to. And to that I say, focus on the other aspects. One of the best things about Pitch Wars is the community. I have to say that I have a bit of FOMO because when I was doing online contests, there wasn't the strong community aspect. I didn't really ever talk to the other people who were on my mentorship team. And of course, in the case of Pitch Wars, it's not a mentorship team like in the Writer's Voice or Pitch Madness. It's the entire participant community. It is vibrant and supportive. I've heard of friendships forming and all sorts of connections happening. And it sounds amazing. Even if you're not chosen, you're part of the Pitch Wars community. There's so much happening on Twitter under the hashtag. It is fantastic. You also get a relationship with a mentor, regardless of how you do in Pitch Wars. And hopefully you come out of it with a better manuscript no matter what. Focus on the positives. And if you don't get in, the positive again is the community and that you just should keep working. Focus on the words and the books and there's always going to be another opportunity and you can always query. That's really the takeaway here. I love querying, querying works, contests are fantastic, but you can always query. So good luck to everyone entering Pitch Wars.